Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? And today it is a pretty big day because Elon Musk has actually purchased Twitter. And I know, I have a beard. I'm just trying something. Treat me like a normal person. Okay, guys, it's still me, Mike. I don't, even though it's very handsome and sexy, but I don't know if I'm keeping it yet, so don't get too excited, okay? No, but seriously, though, I'm, I am just trying something. Um, I, I really like the beard, but I just, I mean, I think I started shaving it off because I was just lazy, and this took a lot of work to, like, get it to this, like, perfect shape and everything like that. So I don't know if I realistically will keep it, but I do feel like it hides my butthole chin a little bit. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We have gathered here today to celebrate the resurrection of Twitter, the dead bird. <laughs> and I really do think this is going to be a big deal. I think this is going to be a good thing for Twitter. Now, when I first heard like Elon Musk was thinking about buying Twitter, um, this was like months ago, maybe maybe even a year ago. Um, and I thought it was just like a bit, you know, Elon Musk, he has a pretty good sense of humor. And I thought it was just like he was joking around or something like that. But it turns out he's actually gone through with it. He has bought Twitter for, I think the settling price was like $44 billion. Here's the thing. Like a lot of people are like up in arms about this right now. They're not happy. Um, however, I think this is going to be a good thing. I think it's going to be a great thing because Elon Musk is a very, he's a, I guess you could say he's an advocate for free speech as we all should be. Nobody should be like, no matter what your opinions are, you might not like what anybody else has to say, but you should be you should never want a government or a social media network or anything to tell you what you can and can't say and stop you from saying your opinions stop you from saying your thoughts um shadow banning you if you do say things banning you permanently or just like actually ban banning you um for saying what you think and what you you believe that's not right that's not how you get a functioning democracy and of course twitter is like a worldwide thing but as a an american platform you would think it would be setting an example for the rest of the world you know with the the first amendment and the freedom of speech and you would think that twitter would be kind of making an example and showing that you know we free speech is something it's a god-given human right you don't need any like authoritarian government telling you what you can and can't say and punishing you for saying your thoughts and opinions um and i feel like people it's it's more the younger generation i've noticed like kids now are like so against freedom of speech and i guess it's like a a feelings getting hurt thing because everybody's a fucking offended by everything these days um but it does seem to be the younger generation and i guess they're okay with being they want their opposition like people who don't agree with them they want them shut down they want them banned and i think this is going to be a big deal it will put a stop to that for a start because nobody sh should be wanting that because you might think it's like you know it's it's benefiting you like oh i that person offended me he hurt my feelings i want him shut down i want him banned but then one day that same rule could apply to you and then you're going to be the one that complains now i am a very big advocate of free speech too i i love free speech and i think the world should have free speech not just in america not just like it's not just a an american like constitutional right like i think the whole world everybody as a human being should be able to be mature enough like we're all adults especially on social media we should be able to say whatever we want to each other um risk being offended by things um because i get offended by things but i don't give a, i don't like want people to be banned for it i don't want people to be shut down for it and people especially like cancel culture i feel like this is a big step to canceling cancel culture which is something i fucking hate like i hate cancel culture people shouldn't be punished for things um like okay say if they've done something wrong yeah call them out for it hate them for it but when people start going after like their their social media accounts getting them shut down or going after their employers and getting them fired and things like ruining people's lives over something they've said and people say well free speech has consequences free speech doesn't mean you're free from consequences well, that's exactly what free speech is you can say what you want risk being offensive and there is no consequences for free speech of course you can't yell fire in a movie theater and all of that stuff but like nobody should be wanting people shut down or banned or punished for saying their opinions no matter how much you don't like it like i said there's people out there who piss me off who offend me who i hate and like they say things that i completely disagree with but i would never ever want them shut down for that i would always protect and defend their right to say what they feel and what they want because that is what free speech is all about um and i feel like this is a big deal for twitter and for the free world but i also feel like this could be a good thing in general because elon musk said one of the things that he would work on is the algorithm 
Um, he would work on giving giving us new features, which could possibly mean the edit button that we've wanted for fucking like 10 years. Um, but then there's a whole lot of other things and he's got some great ideas. Like he wants to, he knows a way to like, or he says he's got an idea that will shut down like all the spam accounts and the spam bots and stuff like that. Um, and have like verification system for like real human beings like me and you. <laughs> and like, yeah, it's just like, I feel like this could be a good thing. Um, and I hope all the other social media networks follow suit and they watch carefully. And I hope this will be a success for, for not just Elon, but for Twitter and for us, because it will benefit all of us. And I really hope that's what's going to come of this. Um, but there is people out there who are just so against it. And I, I really can't understand why. And it's like, it's funny because it's all these blue check marks celebrities, Hollywood celebrities that are all against free speech and everything like that. It's them that are like complaining about Elon Musk buying Twitter, yet they're all the ones that drive Teslas. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. But I do think this is a good thing, um, and I hope you guys agree. Um, if you don't agree, you can tell me in the comments, because that is what free speech is all about. We can agree to disagree, we can fucking hate each other's guts, but we should be able to say freely whatever we want without persecution or without being punished or being shut down or without being fired from our jobs that's what free speech is all about that's what america is all about but anyway guys i just wanted to share my opinions on this i will see you in the next video peace out and chase your dreams Where they told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place see. Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down myself